Something I don't see a lot in films or dioramas made by younger people are trees. And this is totally understandable. Good looking trees are hard to make and are extremely expensive. And in my case, army men films. And of all the army men films I've ever watched in my life, the only one that has ever used any sort of trees or foliage was the saber tooth. But it was really hard to see the trees in the background of the saber tooth because the video quality was so bad. The video was set to 360p which is not a good resolution. But today I'll be showing you how to make these miniature trees. These models can make your dioramas look a lot better, make your films more lively, and it can be a really nice decoration. So let's get into the tutorial. So the first step is to get the armatures for the trees. Basically what that means is that we have to get <clears throat> the branch structure for the trees and then we can add the leaves which will you know be artificial but the easiest way to get the branches you can buy them of course but they are very expensive um, and they look really bad and they're made out of plastic but of course nothing can beat mother nature so right here of course there's a uh, different types of there's a lot of different types of trees in the world and of course there's a lot of different types of plants in the world so what we'll be using is actual plants for the tree armatures that's what I'm gonna do I'm gonna, gonna, I'm gonna that's what I'm gonna be calling it right here is what you call a asparagus fern or foxtail fern and I don't have the live um, asparagus fern right now but this plant, when it dries, it looks almost exactly like a pine tree, um, a dead pine tree when it dries. And this is very helpful for making your pine trees. So, now of course, you can make like oak trees and other types of trees. Here I have another stick. This one's actually pretty bad because this has a very dense um, branch structure. So that means it's easier to hold like leaves. This is very loose, like it doesn't even look right. So that's the main problem with using nature. Usually the branch structures aren't dense enough. They don't have enough branches. This has so many, this has like a few. But oh, of course we can make up with that. So I'm gonna go uh, outside my neighborhood. I do not have a lot of bushes with um, really good branches around here. So I'm just gonna, just gonna walk around. Oh, I forgot. So basically, I'm just gonna go outside and trim some bushes. Hopefully, none of my neighbors will be like, what the frick are you doing? I wonder if my friends will just see me walking down the neighborhood collecting twigs. So basically, now you just wanna get your twigs. My tips are just to get twigs with a lot of branches. Yeah. So, yeah. When you have enough of your armor chairs, now it's time to move on to step two. This is clump foliage. You can get a bag of it online for pretty cheap, but if you don't have access to online shopping, you can go to Hobby Lobby. There's even autumn colored foliage for trees in the autumn. Basically, these will be the leaves. And what this is, basically some foam that is used to make leaves. And then you just glue it onto the branches and they look like leaves. And that's how you make the tree. So there, I have a lot right here. There's this um, finer texture one. There's these thicker ones. These are like glued together and they're really big so then they're easier for like thinner branch structures. There's this one that's also a different color. If you can't buy foliage, you can make your own. If you get a bunch of sawdust and add paint to it, you can make green sawdust which looks a lot like leaves. And this is what I have right here. But of course, it doesn't work as well as the other products I'm using. You also need this now this costs ten dollars at Hobby Lobby. I think it's like seven dollars on the internet or something. Actually, it's nine ninety nine. But this is uh, some spray heat up, and you can't use any other glue, right? If you try to make a tree with just like I don't know hot glue or white glue, it will not work. This stuff is extremely sticky, and when you're trying to glue a bunch of these foam pieces onto some branches, these this spray heat up is your best bet because 
the white glue won't be sticky enough to hold it. It will just fall off and you'll get a mess. I've tried a lot and also other videos suggest that you should use this. I know other modelers use white glue but this is a lot easier. This is the easiest way. This will give you at least like, I don't know, like 20 trees. I don't know. It depends how you use it. So, yeah, to start making the tree, I'll be using um, this common branch armature. I'm just going to rip off some leaves real quick. So this I also got. I didn't record it because my neighbors were nearby and they'll think I'm trying to vandalize or something. <laughs> I don't know. So I'm just going to rip off some branches down here that I do not want. Also, I think I'm just going to trim off the bottom so it's easier to glue on because I will be gluing on bases to these plants. I'll glue on bases so then it'll be easier to stand up on my dioramas and stuff. So once you have this, you want to get your spray adhesive, alright? And all you want to do is just spray. The, the branches and then you should just get your stuff right here and stick it on now this is a really bad example but because I'm not doing it I have to record it but I'll do a time lapse later as you can see it sticks really nicely and you'll start to get leaves now you have to cover the top of the branches all of them and it'll take some time but you know so you just do one layer you do another layer, and you keep doing it. You'll see in the time lapse. Just, just watch. So now you have your nice little tree. And then, yeah. <laughs> so now I'll just do this for a lot more different plants. And you'll see the, the weight. Now we're gonna do this one. Now this one is a little bit, bit different is that the branch structures are very, the very few branch structures uh, as compared to this. Like the ones with more branch structures are easier to do. That's why the pine tree was a lot faster to do. So this one, you're gonna have to use some bigger and thicker um, foliage. Now as you can see this stuff right here is a lot coarser while bigger as compared to this little foam stuff. It's a lot thicker. It's you it's uh, called bushes. It's usually used for bushes. But we can use it for um, we can use it for leaves too. So now these are the um, trees that I finished and um, honestly they look pretty nice so there's different you know uh, leaf colors 
and these shoes look pretty diverse. Of course, they don't really look that good now. They're some of them are kind of tilted. That's because I stuck them into the ground. I don't have any stands yet. Um, yeah. So let's go through these. So this um, used to be that one. The branches. I really like this one. It looks like um, like one of those trees that you would have at a park or something. <clears throat> this one I'm really proud of, but it's. I have to stick in this little hole because I, I can't stick it into the ground. And uh, the pine trees, see this one and these came from the same um, stick. I just cut them in half so these ones aren't that pointy but they still look like pine trees. These are these other like maple trees I guess. I don't know how they try to describe it. But using this method there's a lot of possibilities of trees you can make there's you can make every kind of species of trees if you can find a stick for it and yeah look at this roof it's just a roof kid man you know you know so you know there's something you know breaking he's making us you know, whole you know, trees you know, you know, this you know. is how cheap yeah. andrew is <laughs> on a budget man yeah man we got a budget even though we were on a low budget i still got this really good thumbnail I ended up using these trees for my Battle of the Bulge documentary. So now that you have this knowledge, go out and make your miniature trees for all your art projects. And thank you all for watching.